So Ben, you're an yes. American yes. playing an Irish character yes. in England and Wales, mm -hmm. and you're <laughs> definitely British, yeah. Um, yeah. and you've been on our screens loads recently, yeah. and I don't want to unfairly assume that you had to work a lot harder to get your role, but how did they uh, <laughs> come about for the pair of you? After you, Mr. America. <laughs> um, I was doing a film here called The Riot Club, and I went to drama school in England, so I kind of, you know, had had my toes in the water a little bit. Oh, yeah. And, um, and read the script, and fell in love with it, and just would, you know, felt like I'll do anything to be a part of this. And uh, I flew back to New York, and then put myself on tape a load of times, and Skyped with Matthew and Steven, and then put myself on tape again a load of times. And um, pretty much just said, yeah, what do I have to do to be on board for this? And um, got lucky, and by the grace of God, got the part, and uh, flew over and got to work. Yeah. Did a wonderful job of it. So. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and what about yourself, Faye? Um, I was, I got sent the script from my agents to audition. I was doing Fresh Mate at the time, I remember that. I remember going down, it was red hot, it was that red hot summer, and I went down, I had to be on set back in Manchester at like four o'clock or something like that. So it was a really rushed odd, like it was really, you know, I put myself on tape first on my iPhone and they didn't like that, I don't think so. It's a bad quality. <laughs> oh, I said, oh, damn. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, and I, um, I, I read the script and was like, please let me be part of this film. Like I have to be in this. And luckily enough, um, was cast in it and I'm very grateful for that opportunity. Sure. Yeah. Now, I mean, I don't even know how you can begin to get your heads around the sort of abuse that the guys suffered in the film. And obviously, yeah. without giving too much away, I know you weren't able to meet the person that mm. your part was based on. And also, was yours like a combination of different people as well? How did you sort of draw your you know, influences for that? Well, my, my character, Steph, she is, she is still alive today, and I'm meeting her for the first time today, which is really, oh. really scary. But we had a little bit more freedom with Steph in a sense that, you know, Steph, the character of Steph, uh, the real human, uh, is, from, is a southerner, and, and we sort of had a bit of kind of artistic license to do things with her hair, and the accent, obviously, is my own accent in the film. And, but, um, so, so really it was sort of me and Stephen, uh, the writer Stephen Beresford, who's a genius, who, and Matthew as well, who, who kind of, who, who sort of took care of what we wanted Steph to be and what we thought, how, how Steph would come across in the mm. film. And, and I'm really pleased that they let me do the things that eventually made it into the film. So mm. yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a special part and, and there was a lot of involvement for all of us and yeah. No, absolutely, yeah. And I think um, getting to meet Mike Jackson, who's a member of LGSM, he was so, so generous and so hands-on and so helpful and encouraging. And he was the biggest resource for me as far as um, the research and the preparation I did to play Mark. He was a real, um, just a huge source of support. Mm, and um, Amazing. Yeah, invaluable resource for this, for this project. Obviously, it's, you know, it's his story. Um, so, yeah. I was asking Andrew earlier, I mean, now it's all the days of social media and he's sort of taking over the world, basically. Yeah. And at the moment, yeah. with raising money, it's sort of the ice bucket challenge and everything for charity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that would have made your life maybe a bit easier, having, you know, some tweets to raise right. awareness or whatever. Yeah. But if your guys were around now, what do you think their version of the ice bucket challenge would be? Because I think that tactics underneath them. I think they could go for something far bigger and crazier. Well, it's interesting because, you know, yeah. Ben and I have been talking about this a lot and it's, um, there's a lot to be said for social media, you know, and the Ice Bucket Challenge has achieved a lot and I think it's a testament to social media. Um, but I think that it can't, that sense of awareness and that sense of, of talk can't replace action. No. You know, there's no, there's no. no substitute for action. And we've never lived in a time where, where information is so readily available, which is a good thing, but it needs to be used. And it's not enough to just post something on Facebook. Yeah. You know, it's not enough I've to just, I've shared this article know. about whatever it is, and I, therefore I'm, I'm complicit in the change to humanity. No, you're right. not. It's Get not up a substitution. And do something, it's, actually. And, yeah. And we're all guilty of it. You know, we're all in this generation doing this thing. And, yeah. Uh, sorry. But I think, no, but I yeah. think if we could meet the, um, the, the, the reach of social media with a, uh, the old school sense of beat the bricks, get out and get it done. Sure. Activism, active, active action. You know, then, I think then we do can a find lot of something special. Today. You know, yeah. But I think it's encouraging the ice bucket challenge. Oh, how much totally. money's been raised. And, raised. You know, like, social media is important. That's a big it's, deal. It's like, and I think you know, if we can focus that that sense of balance initiative, it both. balance, balance both. Absolutely. Sort of active, actual, literally doing, doing, yeah. being present and doing, and also the the. The fact that you can access millions of people by going click. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I know that this film has reached so many people and everyone's going to love it. So congratulations. Thank you, Thank you so very much. much. Thank, Thank you. Me. Really appreciate love that.